What's up everybody? My name is Jason and welcome to the $10,000 EIDL grant. Stimulus checks are coming. It is Monday. Can you believe it? December the 28th, 2020. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Hashtag EIDL with your comments below. Share this video all over social media. In case you haven't heard the news, I have pledged as of last video I did to give away my entire $10,000 EIDL grant, even if I don't get one. And all you have to do in order to qualify is make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and be active within our community. So, how we doing? Huh? How we doing? Are we feeling happy? Are we fucking grateful? Are we feeling blessed? Are you exhausted? How about all the above? Ladies and gentlemen, let's send this baby viral. I want to see at least 2,000 comments within the next 24 hours. Because in the last 24 hours, there, coffee almost went over. It may happen today. You may even get to see a grown man cry because I'm very emotional. I'm very emotional, ladies and gentlemen. In the last 24 hours, the stimulus bill has become law. Your $10,000 EIDL grant or the balance thereof is definitely on the way. And of all things, my Dallas Cowboys in the basement, as of three weeks ago, have rattled off consecutive wins, and if we beat Rod Squad's New York Giants next week and Jalen Hurts bounces back to beat the Washington football team, your Dallas Cowboys, we got any fans out there, are going to host the GOAT, the one and only Tom Brady in the Buccaneers at AT&T Stadium. None of that would have been even possible a few weeks ago, right? If I'd have told you you're getting your money, the bill's going to pass, and the Dallas Cowboys, who were dead last in the NFC East have a better than 65% chance, according to Vegas, of actually winning to play Tom Brady, one of my heroes, in AT&T Stadium just a few short weeks from now. Before, I told you I was emotional. <clears throat> Before I talk about, are you going to have to reapply? Is there more loan money coming? And if so, how much? Is the Lifeline grant, which is 50 G's, about to be launched in January and February? And what if your business went under during the pandemic? Do you still qualify to get your shot at $10,000 of EIDL grant? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a few folks I want to thank. And please give me 15 minutes of your time before we answer those questions. Starting with the Almighty. You should know by now, I'm a very spiritual guy. Not in a religious sense. I don't read a lot of scripture occasionally, but I'm very, very spiritual. And I can't tell you how many times over the last 10 months, I would sit in my truck. If you remember in the summer, I did a lot of videos in the park or my truck. I was trying to get as much vitamin D as I could to survive this pandemic. But I would sit there sometimes for an hour before and after my videos going, what are you doing? Folks, I'm just a small business owner. I applied for a grant in April. I got a loan in late May. But as I got to know 47,000 of you as of this morning, thank you very much. And I heard all the single mothers the disabled or retired veterans, thank you for serving this country, who got blown up through no fault of their own. It got in me and deep. And it was to the point that I was willing to lose my own company. I own a company called Remote Sales. We help companies grow from home, pretty obvious. I launched about a year and a half ago what I am building into the number one remote job site, remoteonline.com. So if we got any gig workers out there, I've got 4,000 jobs on that site. It's free to join, it always will be. Make sure you use the word remote in your keyword search. So remote IT, remote developers, again, it's remoteonline.com. But I made a decision through the good Lord's help that I was willing to lose it all in an effort to try and help thousands. And through the butterfly effect, millions of small business owners get through this most horrific time over the past 10 months. And there were four words I want to share with you before we get to today's questions. 
that God would channel through me. Because I would sit there. I'd say, I don't want to make any more calls. I'm tired. I don't want to send out any more emails. I don't need any more senators threatening me to being arrested for harassment because I won't leave them alone. All of that is true. But whenever I was at my wit's end and I felt like giving up, four words, stay strong, keep going. I've used those first two words with many of you. Stay strong, keep going. I don't know if I can do this any longer. Stay strong, keep going. So let this be a lesson to everyone watching, including the Debbie Downers and the haters that trolled my ass for months. When you have the good Lord on your side and you put your heart and your mind to something, there is absolutely nothing you can't do. And that includes get every one of you $10,000 or the balance thereof. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the other channels. Rod Squad, sorry, buddy, your giants are going down next week. Speak and see. Dan over at I Allegedly. Aubrey Janik. The Stephen Carlson Show. Culture Estate. Max Maher. Andrew Cartwright. Me, Kevin. I mean, the tireless work that guy's put in. And of course, Mr. Purple Power himself, L.A. Late. And again, in case you didn't see my last video, I challenge him and anyone else who wants to join in, even if it's a partial, where you give back $1,000 of the balance of 10 grand that you have coming over the next couple of months. Let's give back, not only to those in need, and in my case, it'll be 10 people that will get $1,000 on or before the Ides of March the 15th. Let's give back. So I wanna thank each and every one of you last. Actually, we don't edit around here. I almost forgot something very important. Can I please take a drink of my coffee? This has been like no other. I hope the comments are blowing up. I hope you guys are hitting that little arrow and sharing this. I'd like to thank all the senators and the congressmen and women, and in particular the staff. You guys might have noticed I've never once mentioned a name of anyone I've talked to. Since the June 10th Senate hearing, I started sending my videos to every senator, congressman, and woman, every governor, radio and TV stations all over the country. And the reason I never got on one, because my rule was I only do live. I'm not going to let you edit some written script and make me look like a fool. None of them took me up on it. But I got to know a lot of people, dozens, some of which you see on TV every day. And if I'd ever snitched or was like a rat in the mob, and I said, oh, I just spoke to Senator so-and-so, and he said, fill in the blank. I would have been done. They would have never talked to me again. 10 to 15% of our views, ladies and gentlemen, are from Washington, D.C. Many times, some things that I've said, and you know this to be true, end up in a bill two or three weeks later. Now, I'm not taking sole credit for this, but I can tell you this. The same people that have worked on getting you $10,000 of cash advance are still speaking to me because I've kept my mouth shut. And I want to thank each and every one of them because there's a couple of you who really had it up to here with me. And I got this close, ladies and gentlemen, from being arrested. They almost sent people to my house here in Atlanta because I wouldn't stop calling and emailing. It was out of control there for a while, and I had two or three of my buddies doing the same thing. So thank you for doing the right thing to all the senators, congressmen and women, and particularly the staff who put up with yours truly in the last 10 months. And of course, 47,000 subscribers. Believe me when I tell you this, guys and gals. We love the ladies, don't we? I draw as much strength from you as you do from me. All those nights, two, three in the morning, when I'm thinking, what the hell am I doing? This isn't gonna work. What if it doesn't work? I'm gonna have thousands, maybe even millions of small business owners that wanna hang me by a rope. Stay strong, keep going. And that's exactly what I did, but I couldn't have gotten there to this day without you guys. So please keep chatting, keep giving me your thoughts and your feedback because this is really happening. You're getting your money. 
And now onto the questions because it gets even better in the next two months. I can hear thousands of comments, 50 to 100,000 views. Please help us out. Make sure you subscribe if you want a shot at $1,000. 10 of you are gonna win on or before March the 15th, even if I don't get my grant. And hit that little arrow button. Use the hashtag EIDL with whatever you put in the description so people can find it on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. All right, are we gonna have to reapply? We don't know. In the law that is now passed and been signed by the President of the United States, it clearly says that the SBA has 15 days, two weeks, to launch the portal and tell us what the rules are. The minute, the second I hear the answer to that question, I will let you know. It also says in the law that the SBA is supposed to alert anyone who's already applied, whether you got a loan or a grant, whether you got it or not, they're supposed to send you a good news email. And then within 21 days of you checking a box and signing a piece of paper or a document, the money is supposed to be in your account or they're supposed to give you a reason as to why you don't qualify. So I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, there's $40 billion in, in, in the, the law. 20 billion is for low income disabled and veterans. Thank you, have served this country. Another $20 billion is for guys like myself that are in the middle of a high income. We're going last. So you need to plan on the following. The money's gonna start rolling out the door probably the third week of January. And it might be till late February, early March before guys like me get paid. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to screw up this low income thing. Some of you are going to be living in low income, Bill, like I said in the last video. And don't forget those four things that are pinned in the top. It unequivocally proves that you're getting $10,000 of the balance thereof. But we have to expect the same SBA who's been breaking the law for almost 12 months, who can't even do a reconsideration in less than 60 days, they're going to make mistakes. We need to, we, we need to expect it. So here's my other promise to you. The same guy who brought you here, the same guy who endured an unbelievable amount of shit to get you this law, which is going to get you the money, is telling you, if I have to stay here until the end of summer or even into the fall, through reconsideration after reconsideration, I will not rest until three things happen, and that is you get 10000 or the balance thereof, they get rid of the damn caps and put it back at $2 million where they belong, and I will not lay my head to sleep. Folks, I can't even sleep. I'm so excited. I'm thinking about, I want the effing loan forgiven. I don't want you to pay a dime. So if you know anything about me by now, I won't rest. We'll talk about other things, the stock market, this business we're about to launch in January where I'm going to help grow your company. But there's going to be a ton of other things and we're going to have a blast. But I personally, I'm all the way in. You know, I may have one bullet left in the gun and I may be the only guy in the foxhole with the, on the onslaught of the army coming up against me. But I can tell you right now, until you get your money, they remove the caps and, and what the hell's the third one? The loan's forgiven. I won't quit. Senior moment. <laughs> All right, no reapplication. Oh. Are you gonna get more loan money? Karen Mills, former head of the SBA, in the last video I pinned in the top comment, the Facebook Live she did with Ben Cardin. Watch it. Midway, she says it was a mistake for you not to get 10 grand, and she wants you to get six more months of working capital. The intent of the original CARES Act was six months of working capital in the loan. I am telling you right now, the folks I talk to are working on something January, early February, the next round of stimulus, which all sides agree is coming, to get you another six months. So if you got a $50,000 loan, don't be surprised if you get another 50,000. Sign and drive. If you got 100,000, another 100,000 sign and drive. Now to those of you that are larger, are they gonna get rid of the caps? In my opinion, this is not a guarantee, yes. There may be some verification process to help you get up towards that $2 million limit, which I do believe will be in the next stimulus bill, probably January, early February. So stay tuned for more information on that. So let me say it one more time. Whatever you got, expect that amount to be offered to you if Karen Mills, former head of the SBA, gets her wish. She's working with Ben Cardin and a handful of other senators, including some members of the Problem Solvers Caucus in the House. 
Is it true, Jason, that there's a rumor out there that the SBA Lifeline grant might appear in this next round of stimulus? And isn't it also true, Jason, that the Lifeline grant is 50 Gs? Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to get the balance of $10,000. I just told you there's a chance that you're gonna get double the loan amount money, removal of the caps, and the Lifeline grant, which is for 50 employees or less, the same 30% uh, income loss, and there may or may not be uh, something tied to, look, I'm losing my train of thought. It's six months of working capital or 50 grand, whichever of those two numbers is less. So working capital is payroll, including to yourself, rent, utilities, normal business expenses. If you're running at six grand a month times five, you got 30,000 if this Lifeline grant comes. You gotta have 50 employees or less. They may change that. They may change the, you know, the numbers a little bit. You gotta th throw, you gotta show the, I am so tired. You gotta show the same 30% economic loss. So try to get your arms around that. You might get your $10,000 in the next couple of weeks. Actually, there's no might. It's no longer an if, it's a when. Don't listen to anybody. Me, Kevin, still telling people 1000 per employee. Where the fuck is it in the bill? Actually, the law. It ain't in there. And I pinned in the last video, you've got the House Committee for Small Business, the head ranking member, Steve Chabot, who says, I processed to get the balance of ten grand. I showed you the sections in page 2184, I'm getting my second wind, to 2208 in the law now, where it clearly says the balance of ten grand, $40 billion through the end of the year, $20 billion to low income, $20 billion to the rest of us. There is no $1,000 per employee unless it's in some super fine print. And a third option, I don't know. But can you go, can you, yeah. Can you imagine? We don't edit. I will never edit a fucking video. Can you imagine if you get 10,000 or the balance thereof, you get a loan offer for twice the amount, another six months of working capital, and they come out with a lifeline grant, even if they lower the number to 30,000 or whatever the hell it is. And there was even a clause in there. There's two clauses. One clause says you can use the lifeline grant to pay back your idle loan or your PPP loan. And by the way, it's tax free if you haven't heard and you no longer have to pay back the idle, idle if you get the next round of PPP. And there's also a clause in there that says when it gets down to 25% of the money left, let's say it's 40 billion as it is in the HEROES Act, the SBA has to alert Congress for more money. So there's a possibility, in case you didn't hear what I just told you, it's 10 grand plus up to 50 grand plus another loan of double of what you got for another six months of working capital. And even if, and this is my opinion, again, the guy who brought you to the dance, my opinion is if your business went under during the pandemic, as long as you didn't completely close your doors, sell everything off and file chapter seven or 11, I believe, and this may require a bit of reconsideration, you still get your balance of $10,000 owed from the grant. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to keep this under 20 minutes. I know this was an emotional roller coaster of a video. Always know it's coming from right here. I am so happy for each and every one of you. It ain't over. It'll be like this for the next two months, but I will not rest until you get all your money, the caps are removed, and this loan is forgiven. And as I just said for the last seven or eight minutes, more help is on the way. In fact, even more than you're about to get from this new law that recently became official. Until next time, always remember, I love you guys with all my heart and soul. And thank you so much for watching.